After I completed the LotBot Junior and ESP32 Raspberry Pi Node-RED MQTT Wi-Fi Access Point development project and the videos, I started looking at enhancing the text-to-speech uh, that I had demoed in my original LotBot uh, robot project. That is when I found a uh, Node-RED node that interfaces to Alexa that can be used to control devices in Node-RED flows. This was very exciting as I already use Alexa to control some of my house lights and uh, with another app on my iPhone. This is an update to the LotBot Junior development project to use an Alexa node um, to control the prototype. In the project's first video, I showed how the uh, mini keyboard could be used to turn the LED on and off and how the uh, robot can be controlled with the uh, arrow buttons and the OK button. In the part three video, I showed how the flows could be modified with inject nodes, which could be used to turn the LED on or off and how they could generate required MQTT messages during a unit test environment. Now I'm going to show you how we can modify the flow using a, the, an Alexa uh, node red node to turn the LED on or off and control the robot. First I need to mention that the MQTT messages are being sent to the robot using my Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi access point that is not connected to the internet. Unfortunately I have not been able to use this Wi-Fi for the Alexa communications and had to add an Ethernet cable from another Wi-Fi system that is connected to the internet. So what I am going to show you is using both Wi-Fi systems. The Alexa nodes are treated as devices to Alexa and you can tell her to turn a device on or off. As you may recall from the project's uh, uh, videos that I control an, an LED with a zero or one and I control the robot with an F, B, L, R, and S. So I am using uh, a standard node that is part of the uh, node red to change the on, on or off to the required character that can be used for the one in three out node as seen in the previous videos. Okay, now I will be talking to Alexa and uh, you will hear her reply and see the LED and robot function as in the previous videos. Alexa, turn LED on. Okay. Alexa, turn LED off. Okay. I've had a few problems with the ultrasound trying to change the direction of the wheels while I was trying to demo this, so I've put another piece of paper on the ultrasound hoping that will stop it from uh, picking up any signals. Okay. Alexa, turn forward on. Okay. Alexa, turn back on. Okay. Alexa, turn stop on. Okay. As you can see, there is a time delay between using the keyword Alexa and having the required function take place. This could be critical if a robot was speeding for a wall and you were trying to use Alexa to stop the robot. On the other hand, functions that are not dependent could use Alexa in robotics to perform functions by individuals that have lost the ability to perform those functions themselves. Anyway, I really enjoyed seeing this modification and had to create a video to show it.